All right, what's up, family? What's up, yo? Y'all already know the vibes. I'm about to show y'all how Mo get down. Start like I always start with my one guard. I already know the deal. I'll go ahead. So everybody keeps asking me. They, they want me to start showing my face system. They want to know how I do it, how I'll be able to be more efficient. This is one of the ways I start with my one close, go right ahead. As soon as you saw, I went from the left to the right. Now I'm going from right to left, going with my one guard open. So using my one guard open, I'm taking advantage of what's in my hand. At the same time, using my chair to my advantage. I'm not moving my position. I'm not moving my feet. The chair is doing most of the work for me. I'm going ahead, I'm flicking the wrist as well. My new favorite clipper. I know you guys saw me use the JRLs a lot with the Gamma Blade on them. Just, I've been using my instant clipper way more it's just so much more efficient for me so lighter i like the way the feel the motor is quick as well the only thing i don't like about it is that the battery life ain't that long but it is what it is everybody got their preference if you notice right here i have all my guards accessible like when i told you guys i, I go off for color so i got the red i got the i got the black i got the the gray i look at my colors i really don't focus on numbers you can't see i can't see the numbers i can't see anything but i focus on the colors that's what helps me with my efficiency help me work quicker and move faster i right, check this out i'm using my one and a half guard now so remember I use my one, now I'm using my one and a half guard. I start open. Now I'm grazing into the top of my fade. So I'm starting to, you know, transition from the middle of my fade to the top of the head, the one and a half guard open. Now I'll go ahead, I'll take it off. Once I take it off, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bottom guideline, my board guideline. Yeah, so boom. I'm setting my bold guideline. Once already, I already debulked the hair. Now I know what, what my fade is gonna start looking like. And I also have the room and leverage to see what I'm doing, what my bottom fade is gonna look like. Typically when I do my bottom line, I also do my the beard as well. So I go right into opening the beard, closing it up. And then for something that I do whenever I do consultations, the first question I do is what type of fade you're getting, right? Or what type of haircut you're getting. Then I go into details of what lengths you want the beard, what lengths you want the top. Once I get to that point, that's what helps me with efficiency, helps me get a little quicker. Hey, what do you want for the beard? Like what number on it again? It's a two. Perfect. So now I know it's a two. Now I know what I'm going to be blending into. Using my clipper to my disposal, I'm going ahead. I'm using my, my clipper, using it to start fading into the beard as well. And then now I'm going to work my way into the fade as well. So you see, I'm working my way all the way around. This is no guard open. After I set my first guideline, going into that one, that one portion, that one and one open, that's what I did from the beginning, as you guys saw. But if you see, using this system is what helps me do my fade in about five to, to 10 minutes getting my fade part done. Now, this is what helps with the efficiency. You see, I'm using my tool to my disposal. If you notice, I'm using what I can, using what I have in my hand already, and also using the chair to move it around. I go straight into my trimmer. If you notice, I did not move them from here because I'm using it to my disposal, what I have in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my trimmer to start debulking and taking off the bottom portion of the fade. This is going to be the skin part. I go ahead, and if you notice, I'm not setting no hard lines, but using this Gamma Saber, it is definitely like butter when when it comes to cutting off this hair. Boom. I got my first pod on the table. And then for my second pod to elevate it, my 245 um, charging pods, I elevated it with the actual box as well. So guys, don't throw out the box. Use the box when you do buy the second one because the box is going to help you elevate your table. So boom, I did the bottom portion. Now I'm going to move on to my half guard. I'm going to start with my half guard open. And I'm going to start taking out this, this line that you see in the middle of the fade. Now my fade is gonna start coming together because I already know my half guard open connects to my one and it connects to everything. That's how I already know physically. I already know that my fade is gonna start fading in. See, man, Jordan put in that work, man. <laughs> so I'm using the one. Now I know he's gonna have a two here. So what I'm using, I'm using the one open and I'm grazing it, grazing it, grazing it, grazing it, grazing it, nice and slowly. So I slowly start my clipper this way. I slowly start my clipper this way and then I slowly work my way down to the portion to start getting that fade. So starting from the top, working my way down to actually get that fade in there. You see, and then you notice it starts fading in nice and easy. See, I don't want to spend more than more than a second on anything, really. That, that's really my main thing. I'll go ahead, using my one and a half guard as well. Boom. Now, I already know it's going to be a two. So one and a half guard, I'm using it open. That's my max fading into the two. So I don't need to go any lower than this. Or I don't have to, you know, do any more fading after this part. This is part of my fading part process for the beard. Because I already know he's, in this middle section is going to be a two. And it's going to be the one down for the mustache. That's typically like universal. I use that for all my clients when it comes to that. My client, because he has light hair. So when it comes to fading into the top, you don't want to use bending shears too much. Because the bending shears will make actually make it look lighter than what it is already. So you don't want to do that. 
So you want to just use the two, kind of like blend into that hair on top. And then he also gets a hard part here. So I'm gonna show you a trick. So when you use your fingers, your fingers are kind of, like me personally, I have fat fingers. I can't really get a trimmer in here comfortably without having to angle it too much to where I can't see anymore, right? I don't have any leverage here. So what I do is I'll take my comb. So any people also with thick hair, with thicker hair as well, it works the same way. But I'll go ahead, I'll hold it down with the comb and then I'll come in right over. I'm resting my, my hand on his head while making the line right there. Boom. Now you have a nice crispy line. You use the comb to, to lower the hair, you see? See how, how you have a low profile and you're good. Now that he has the line there and I know what's gonna be on this side, now I would debulk it. I don't debulk it before because the, he might have hairs longer that's gonna wanna come on this side. Look what I have, look. He said he wants a two on the beard. The two is already on the clipper. So I'll go ahead and I'll debulk the whole thing. Cause the two is already on my clipper guys. It's already on the clipper. You leverage what you have already on the clipper to save time. You don't have to be going back and forth and trying to maneuver through these things. It just makes it super easy, super simple. You don't think about it too much. It's not hard to think about. It makes your day easier as you go throughout the day, just using your tools to your disposal. So I have my two on this clipper. Now I'm gonna put it down. I know I'm gonna be working on the mustache next. I'll be working on the mustache. I'm gonna be using my trimmer for all the exterior lining. I'll be using my number one guard on my clipper for the mustache and maybe for the eyebrows, depending on what I do, because I always use the one open for the eyebrows, remember that? Now, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish my fade so I don't have to go back to that fade part. Let me show you another cool trick that I learned. If you have the masters, the blade on the master is actually thicker than typically any style craft blade or depending on which one you have, wall or taper blades. But if you notice, look at the difference in thickness. I actually use this clipper with no guards. So this actually works as a half guard in many different ways. So I use it to detail my bottom line. I set my bottom line with this one and I take it out with this one. Check this out, look how this cleans up. So boom, you have some, some, some darkness down here. Watch this, my master's closed and then boom, it takes that out right away. I'll open it all the way to clean up my middle section of my fade because it works as a half guard. Like, and I already know this by the thickness of the blade. And I'm gonna go ahead all the way close and I'm gonna hit that bottom line. Check this out guys, look, check it out, check it out, check it out, look at that. And remember, I fade all the way around. So my fade goes all the way around. So I just fade all the way around and I don't do section by section. I'd rather do it this way because I get to see a lot more of what my fade looks like. You get what I'm saying? Guys, this is one of the reasons why I say don't be afraid to be at 30 minute appointments because I actually have my next appointment waiting on me. But the fact that online, when they book an appointment, it says, please leave a 10 minute buffer a 10 minute buffer for your barber. And at the same time, we also, on our end, we also needed to give you a 10 minute buffer, depending on traffic, depending on different things that, that happen, right? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use that technique that I was showing you guys, you see, for that line right there, because I know I set it with this, but I'm gonna take it out with the backwards, you see? Boom, now you got that blurriness right there. Then you want some enhancements for today? All right. Close them off, there you go. <laughs> Last week for back to school, I ended up doing a hundred. We'll show them. We'll show them too. We gotta show them. We gotta show them the details, man. We, we we gotta show them the details. But I ended up doing 156, 156 haircuts last week when I was averaging 100. But since the back to school, that back to school kind of kind of hit us hard. So I had to do do what I could to to make sure I had everybody taken care of. Mo went crazy for back to school. That's what he made for the week. Fifty four hundred dollars. Long. Business is booming. And that's in one week. This is the Bexley location for the booming. All right, guys, I want to let y'all know if you do not know about Pi County, make sure you go to piacounty.com and go on there. You'll be able to get financial services. And they're literally a financial advisor and accounting firm for barbers. So they will literally help you with everything you need. They will turn you into an S Corp because you can either be an LLC, S Corp, whatever you want, but S Corp is the way to go. They help you, they give you the details on how to do that. It saves you on taxes, it helps you financially, they give you financial goals that you want to, want to reach, they help you get there, they plan you, they give you a plan, they meet with you every quarter, like every three months of the year, you're gonna be talking with hold a on, couple hold of them. Up. Don't tell them everything, bro. Listen, go to podcounting.com, schedule a consultation call, and one of our accountants definitely going to talk to you, let you know all the amazing things that Pi Accounting has for you. you know, we're helping barbers make this a real career, a real profession, benefits, buy your, your first crib, all yes. that, man. Just I was able to buy my second property, but my first property in Florida. So Yeah, we're barbers, we're not CPAs, as you can tell, the way we're fumbling all over this. But go check out piecounting.com. Let's go.
Now we do it all even, right? Instead of leaving the front too long. Yep. So right here, once I'm done trimming the top. Boom. And it just sits, you know, that's the biggest problem. That's perfect, because once we put some gel in there, that's how it would sit. Sometimes when it's heavy on one side, on this side I use my thinning shears to just kind of get that line out the way. Blend nice and smooth into the hair, see? It ain't easy being quick and good at the same time. It's not easy, guys. I'm trying to stretch the neck out a little bit if you can. Whenever I'm down there though, spray some eucalyptus on there, make it smell good. That's that smell good stuff, you know what I mean? Make them relax. Also, it's a stress reliever as well. Spray some eucalyptus on his nose. Also keeping the nose exposed, that's the biggest thing. I massage the face, put the hot towel on it while it's hot, and then I'm gonna show you something while it cools down. I go ahead and I massage the shoulders. And another cool thing I'm gonna show you right now. So using the vibe effects, babyless vibe effects, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the chair and I'm gonna rest it on my on my leg and it actually massages the chair. So now you have a whole chair massager for your client that gets a hot towel. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, baby. Good day, how's that? All right, you guys, what you need? You don't need nothing else. He actually gets the whole chair vibrated for him. And also being light with the razor also helps as well. My clients barely even feel it. I'll go ahead, I'm put some, uh, I'll put some acid shave. Razor bump soother. It's made with tea tree and uh, oil and lavender. So I'll put some of that on. So I sell beard oil, the same beard oil I sell, I go ahead, I apply it to my client's beard as well. That's part of that, the hot towel service. Nice rubbed in, nice and silky smooth. That no drip. So I use my tight tube comb. I'll comb it out, try to make it more, a little bit more natural. Boom, so it makes that hand a lot more natural. I gotta use the Josh OP comb, y'all already know. Go to, go to Josh OP website, make sure you go get this comb. <laughs>